a dreadful place, I think we'll see um, perhaps much more focus on the power up. Maybe not. <clears throat> much more focus on the power up by uh, D9 on this one. They did lose out on a lot of power ups in the previous one. Because this is a map that's been in the rotation for quite a while, whereas Retribution has only just been reintroduced. So if you're a little bit out of practice with it, it might affect you. So maybe it was here. Close the game. In fact, I would almost guarantee the game will be closer. Fourth player is going to be Dev. Don't actually know Dev myself, but he's a German player. So, we'll have to see how he performs. Raw says he is a hero. Personal hero of Raw. Very good mates with him, apparently. It's always good to know the Germans and the Brits can get along. So I'd imagine both teams will be pretty comfortable playing either side of the map. Of course, you can play the mega side. Make sure you get the yellows. You've got good access to the lightning gun. And in a way, you've got good as equal access to the lightning gun. I mean, sorry, the rail gun. But they'll also be adept at playing the red armor as well. I'm going to go live now. Pull and cross off the start shotgun in hand. This is out on the red pickup. So action got that one, but I don't think they got any weapons. ZLC with a shotgun took a very heavy first one, but he dealt the same. The shackle with that tempting rail that Action are gonna retain control of ZLC and blind down in this rail position. 30 seconds till the first quarter of the map is gonna be a late one again, of course. To remind ourselves they don't have the timers on the screen. For the items, it's all in their heads or I don't know, some other way. And uh, they don't know the time of the first quad, that's for sure. Could be after 30 seconds to the end of the minute. Any random time. It's going to be in 10 seconds, which will make it 58 seconds in a very late time. Some teams would get caught out by that. It looks like D9 got there early, but it's going to be their undoing. Is it? No, Dabra actually grabs it. He does go down. ZLC did a lot of damage. He's got quite a few frags in the medley over the quad area there. And generally on this map, that's kind of what we, we say. It's difficult, necessarily, to get high quad runs against a decent team that's good at evading quads. So, a lot of the frag build-up is on the quad setup. Red Armour did just spawn as Dabra looked away. In fact, he's paid a very heavy price for that one. Dash just walking in with lightning and gets the frag and rewards himself with that Red Armour, despite the low health. There's that juicy 50 to bring him up to 75. With a nice chunk of armor, shotgun, plasma gun, and uh, on the ammoed lightning gun. Action just four frags ahead. Nice moving out by action. In fact, three of their players have gone this route. That's interesting. They're very aggressive. Lightning gun is up. Dash decides to take that one. Gonna get caught in the back here. Seems like action at very adept just moving around the map together. And this is really what you do nowadays on this map. Use the red armor as a sort of refueling depot. Grab your health and armor from there and then just move out and take advantage. Is that a C just thinking something's very lucky. Dash already waiting at the quad. They cycle around a little bit of the blinds there in support. Nightop's in a very good ambush position. He has got a good stack as well. And now he's got himself a lightning gun. They're going to be in an amazing position here. Our action for this quad. There, Chris, a little bit too late to do anything. Gets caught in the doorway by the lightning gunner of Night Ops. Mega Health looking very tempting there. He spots one of the D9 players in that underground area. He's going to avoid him though. Not too bothered, not worried, not fussed about him as he moves back to the red armor area. Getting the frag with the railgun. Second frag could be on the way. 
inside this area. He's got two frags on the board at the moment already. Does show his caring side, sharing side, dropping that rocket launcher. And that's the end of the quad. We see he doesn't able to pick up a lot of frags with it. Just the architecture of the map doesn't really suit that style of play unless your opponents are very adept at running towards the quad. But I think his team did pick up a fair few frags there. Now 10 frag advantage for action as Night Up just cruise around the map at will, really. And this is something action, I think, are very good at. When they're on top, they're very good at just running around the map and keeping on top, pretty much. Keeping that constant damage, that attrition on their opponents. Moving around, stealing the items. Dabra pulling out the lightning gun. I mean, that was so risky. Considering the damage he'd taken already. And Night Ops now getting control of the yellow. The 50's up as well, and he's back up to a reasonable amount of health. And armor with his weaponry is such a threat. Moving around the map, ZLC is up in that spot. See two of their players there. I mean, 30 seconds before quad, probably around time, but they've been there a while, so pretty surprised me just how far action push out. And maybe a bit too far, if you ask me. Interesting. Interesting. seconds. They may be going to get this one. Line did hit the rail on Dev and it's our first look at this sort of unknown player to me who have been told. Changes his name quite regularly. Almost gets caught out by those couple of rockets. Going to be cautious. Decides to jump up. He's actually missed out now on the red pickup. Not really sure why he tried to jump on that one. We really need to at all. Just going to have to health up if he's going to be able to do too much. Let's get one frag with the quad. He could be in a good position for another here and dash. The game's closed in. Three frag difference. And for all that running around and looking like they were dominating the map, I think just lacking a little bit of real solid actual control. Action. Uh, D9 back into this. I want to have a look at the stats and the scoreboard. 8 to 2 mega pickups in favour of uh, action. And despite what we've seen, what they seem to control the red, 7 to 6 on the yellows and 7 to 5, sorry, 7 to 5 on the yellows, 6, 7 to 6 on the reds, only ahead by one red. So. Yeah, just dropping the ball a little bit and control the red action. So desperate to move out, take advantage every time they get it. They want to make sure they get those megas there. Despite seemingly what we've seen at least, where they seem to have position on it more often than not, they're really not doing too well on the red. D9 do presumably have control of that area at the moment. ZLC is caught out trying to rush in, steal that rail away. Of course, cruising around the map. 10 seconds to go before the quad. He has got the mega health to his name. Shot. Gun and rail. Taking out night ops there. They're going to have to be quick to get in if they actually want to pick up the quad. Good. Grenade spam. And the quad is gathered in by Cross. D9 looks like they've got a bit of focus back. And they're just building a little lead now. Now they've got the quad. Red Arm was not up for a while. He could do with moving out here. Does take out Dash who drops a lovely lightning gun. Just, um, sacrifices himself to cross there, running at him, quad rail out. And they've turned a 10 frag deficit down to a, about a 10 frag lead. Very impressive work by D9. As we are in the eyes of a ZLC. Let's see if he's long sighted or short sighted. by ZLC. Getting a couple of frags there, but it's kind of in the wrong time. I mean, that's the quad area clear. Well done. The quad's not up for 50 seconds. Do they just attack the wrong areas? 
take so much time there, but we were seeing them go through to the quad area, etc. It just seems a very strange choice. Teams are tied. By action. So maybe it's costing the Night Elves does grab himself a red. A couple of impressives for him with the railgun, 50% on that. seconds moving through nice rockets by Dabra taking over this area confiscating that railgun away as well misses the air rocket will want to hit that last rocket he doesn't gonna have to use the rail he does take out blind though with that railgun shot that's a very nicely placed shot on dash and night should go down as well really nice railing there and shackle grabs d9 that quad a couple of frags difference at the moment Nighthub's almost stealing in there, getting the frag. Shackle did kind of get away with it. He got away with that for sure. He's got two health. Are the 225s up? They are. It's not going to matter too much because it's the end of the quad run. Look at that. He gets caught on the bounce pad. Second rocket taking that quad damage out as well. Excellent. It's blind looking very stacked. With almost a red armor to his name, lightning gun, plenty of ammo now. Railgun as well, sneaking in around the back of Shackle. Free kill there, pretty much. Action, they're just so funny, they're so effective what they do, but then they just are just so expansive. I wish they had a bit more focus on locking down certain areas, or at least one of their players would really just sit in an area and lock it down. They seem to be all, all over the place all the time. Trying to do that damage, Chris grabs himself a railgun. ZLC railed straight away. Fourth impressive there for Chris. Let's have a look at his stats 59% rail, very nice. Impressive statistic there. Fifth impressive, looking very good. Very solid stable aim with that railgun. I say that. Commentator's curse, maybe? Red armor to his name. Dash picked up that drop. Lightning gun did a hell of a lot of damage very quickly. Seemed like a very high aim shot there. He's in 62% rail, and he does have a rail gun to his name. Eight seconds to go before the quad. Will this be another action? Quad, let's have a look at the quad pickups. Only at one at the moment. Action. D9 moving in. Grab it again in front of action. Oh my god! I think that's twice that's happened to action now, and they're really not doing well on the power ups. Perhaps that is the real difference between the two teams at the moment. And why Action can't really get a solid grip and a massive lead. They are still ahead, let's remember. Just keep letting D9 back in it, though. Their power up play was stronger. Sliding down like that for a minute. Very good machine gun actually in the end. I'm not sure she should hit though on the bounce pads, etc. We've got 8 minutes left on this round, the next one will be in 60 seconds. It's only a seven frag margin as D9 getting themselves to that century point, which I find so vitally important. Boost morale, you know, we've got the triple figures on the scoreboard now. No, it's a little bit random with the rails there. Excellent. Not quite as solid Excellent. lock as you might expect, Gabra, with the railgun up. Spawning a, a very fine sort of reddish orange mix colouring to his railgun shots. Maybe a yellow. Yeah. Always mention the important things are. Quad is picked up by Shackle Dino and well secured that time. Almost 90 armour on the board, railgun in hand. Really wanted to hit that shot! Oh my god, he's backed off for the help. He hasn't pulled out his other weapon yet, his plasma. And he has paid the price. Absolutely 
torn apart by ZLC's plasma. Impressive. To an embarrassing level, actually. He could have survived it out, and if he switched to plasma, he would have got the kill on ZLC, surely, because it was such a tight, confined area. Anybody at this level should have had good enough plasma to get that one. ZLC does just miss out on the red pickup, although Dev can't secure out that red being taken by action. Only 38% rail for him at the moment. Raining down in this basement area, though. Mega is going to be up in five seconds blind, presumably going to wait out for that one. He's got a shotgun and he's got a rail gun, and we're moving in sort of quad secure time. Pace has slowed down a bit. I think both teams are a little bit worried, especially action. That they don't want to throw this away now. Nice good movement by action, actually. Got a lot of frags there, effectively in that railgun position. That will lead up well to quarter though. It looks like D9 are maybe already in position. Impressive. What a rail shot by blind. More impressive. good rails. Fifth impressive for him. 44% rail. She could have been the shots that are secure than this quad. It is going to be a quad grab. Easy kill on cross. That's one on the board already. Mega health is up on its spot. Picks up the drop shot on top of that. I'm surprised he didn't just leave that frag for a teammate, but then again, he would have gone through a corridor that's a very dangerous route. Oh, and he just got surrounded. They could have done with team support. No one was moving in here with him. With him and D9 positioned themselves well there. They combated the quad effectively. Maybe he chose the wrong target, though. Dabra 100 100 lightning gun in hand. And he almost utilized after that great pickup. Covers out this railgun position blind going down. Just over 10 frags now in favour of action. There's only two quads left on the map to spawn. We've got four minutes remaining. D9 do need to win this to take it to a third. Of course, action taking the first map. Very comfortable situation. Very impressive performance by them. But this is going to be the key the key time leading up to this quad and the quad. D9 Steve Knee really do need to start bringing it back. I can't see action thrown away. A massive amount of frags after that in the last two minutes. Good grenade shot by Dabra. Another skillfully flung grenade there. seconds till the penalty on that quarter of the map. This is going to be very important time for D9 especially. They are starting to just drag it back in a little bit here. Dash! Excellent. Is he going to be the piece that controls this zone? Well, they've actually done a very good job in the end. And a lot of that is thanks to Dash. Securing out ZLC. Doesn't want to waste this quad. This Excellent. could be securing out the game here. Two quick frags off the bat. And he should be pretty comfortable now to survive out most of the run, if not all. Oh dear. I think that's going to be enough. I mean, it's still close enough to bring something back. You know, 16 frags. But at the same time, at this level of Quake, that's really quite a lot to bring back, as we've seen in recent tournaments. They've done a good job. It's just make sure you play a safe, solid game at your shots. Don't die too much now, action. Any of your players. If you feel yourself dying, just stop. Just go and hide for a bit. This is really nice play by Blank. Great dodging there. Avoided taking any damage. 20 frags is the margin now. In these last two minutes, and final quad will be in 45 seconds. A 
I know would imagine action was just to be honest they don't even need to turn up for it but if I was them just get there as early as you can try and lock it down a little bit late now in, in essence though of course it's there though he decided to go and wait to grab himself a railgun not had the best quad runs on this map in all honesty and we don't generally expect that we've had the vast majority of quads though D9 and when you do that, you do kind of expect to win. They could still do it though. So the ten frag margin, Chris is in position now. These grenade spams are gonna need to hit. Just delaying it won't really have too much of an effect at this point. He isn't looking that strong in terms of health. I think he is up. They do get a frag. Now it's only a six frag margin. Action really didn't do a very good job in that last minute. One second to go. It does take that red arm, and he got to move through. Go aggressive, needed to hit that shot really, got to be cautious going through, ZLC does go down, does he get a spawn in on, gets, catches out dash, still a 5 frag margin, 35, sorry, 25 seconds left, I that, 20, it's still going to be difficult to bring this back because difficult positions that action can take up, in fact, let's switch around to a couple of them now, night tops and blind at the quad area, just playing tight knit together, and with only 5 seconds to go, this is not going to happen. Action are going to take it. Two frag margin in the end. So close. But no cigar. There's some of the stats. But, um... Yeah, Dev not doing too well. The substitute only minus 15 net, unfortunately for him. Dash minus 22. But... There we go then.